made in Hollywood. An exclusive restaurant, a reclusive chef, and a special set of guests are a recipe for disaster as Anya Taylor-Joy and Nicholas Holt star in the satirical thriller, The Menu. Hi, I'm Nicholas Holt. Hi, I'm Anya Taylor-Joy, and here's a scene from The Menu. Is that gonna fit everyone? Yeah, easily, 12 customers total. How do they turn a profit? 12.50 a head, that's how. What are we eating, a Rolex? It's one of his classics. I've become very good just due to the sheer amount of scripts that I read and, you know, the cinema that I consume. I can usually tell where something's going to go, where I can guess a line. In this one, absolutely not. I also had a strong reaction to the script when I read it for the first time. There is so much that happens in the movie and it's totally unpredictable. And it was really beautifully crafted but yet it's a horror film disguised as a, a food movie, so there's gonna be a lot of people coming in here yeah. who are gonna be uh, terrified. Welcome. We'll endeavor to make your evening as pleasant as possible. Oh, tone is a very difficult thing to just describe with words. I think it's something that you have to see and experience. I didn't have a comp for it when I was filming right. it, and that's a good thing. That's how you know you're doing something special and new, it, where you're like, this could either be the best thing ever or the worst thing ever. And thankfully, I think it's the best thing ever. He's not just a chef, he's a storyteller. The game is trying to guess what the overarching theme of the entire meal is gonna be. You won't know till the end. I think for a chef, it begins as desperately wanting to categorize her and then bizarrely feeling like he enjoys her pushback. I think they recognize something in each other and that begins a kinship. Who are you? I am Margo. Why do you care? I have to know if you're with us with them. He is a real foodie, so that was part of the research for this, which was very nice. I just got to like watch food shows, go to nice restaurants and pretend Such to be a bit of a foodie. Life. My Had goodness. to do it. <laughs> yeah, I did it, took it upon myself. This entire evening. Jesus Christ. This is just theater, it's stagecraft. We're leaving now. It has been painstakingly planned. So it's it's kind of fun to leave it in the actual film, like more up for interpretation, but then as actors to have all this backstory that when you turn up on day one and walk into the restaurant and, and fill in those characters, you kind of have a lot to bring to it that kind of doesn't ever have to be said. This is real, isn't it? What the hell is going on? Mark had told all of us that he wanted to shoot the film in a 360 kind of way and he wanted us all to be mic'd and on set the whole time. John and I, uh, thankfully because of Mark, we had a lot of latitude to play around with um, and improv and, and he sort of lets you do what you need to do to make it feel authentic. There's nothing more spontaneous than improv, you know. No. Uh, you can act a, a line and make it really spontaneous too, but ad-libbing, I, I don't know, I feel like that's, yeah. that's where I feel like I'm most at home. We just spent all of our time on set because if you weren't acting opposite somebody as lovely as Nick um, and having a great time, or Rafe, you had front row seats to these incredible performers. Get out of my way. It's all part of the menu. It's okay. No, we're gonna die today. Yes, we are. Yeah. guys, thanks for checking out this video. We want to know, what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the MIH TV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.